can get with this, cause this is where it's at. You can get with this, or you can get with that. You can get with this, so you can get with that. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for joining. We are here. We are back. We have finally done it, y'all. You guys have been talking about it, and we finally are here. The B-52's Rock Lobster. And we can't do it without the crew, as always. Feed on Tool 2, what say you? Feed on Tool 2, D-Day representative. I'm pretty excited about this one. Not because... You know, it's Rock Lobster, but the only song I know by B-52s is Love Shack, yo. And this song came out in 79. Oh, dang. And Love Shack came out, I think, like in 90 or something like that. Mm -hmm. So they was, uh, B-52s were out for a long time before I even heard of them. So, all right. Yeah. The, 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 you know, the family said, hey, I need to listen to it, so we're going to listen to it, yo. They have really, really been requesting this, man. We finally got around to it. I'm excited about it. Hollywood DA, what say you, brother? Yeah, I'm ready to listen to it. I didn't realize it was that long ago when that song came out. Yeah, it's 79. Crazy. Same here. It's crazy because I'm with you, uh, you know, as far as the, what I'm familiar with B-52 is about it, well, with it is Love Shack. Love Shack, mm -hmm. Love Shack, <laughs> Love Shack. And we did that. Go check it out on the channel. You know what I'm saying? Great song. Uh, so I'm interested now. Now that I know this came out, you said the 70s? 79. 79. Oh my God. I, I, now I'm really interested. Like, this, <laughs> this, this took a whole new meaning to me you know, right now. So I'm about to. And it's not, it's not supposed to be disco neither because 79 was the disco era. So this oh, song man. was anti disco, you know? So. Mm, uh, well, look, man, let's really get into it, man. I'm excited about this. The B 52s, Rock Lobster. Are you guys ready? Yes, sir. sir. All right, man. Let's do it in three, two, one, go. around this long.
sound like I've heard this before in something, and I just can't put my finger on it. To process, man. A lot, a lot to process. Unpack. Yeah, a lot to unpack. Um, I really wish I, I um, had an opportunity to pull up the subtitles on this, but uh, you the, the video wouldn't allow the subtitles to be pulled up, so I couldn't hear everything he was saying. But with that being said, um, it's energetic as hell, you know. And when you when you peel back the 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 brights of it all, like the color that their performance, and just listen to the music. Um, the beast that they're using is it's I, I really enjoy it. And for some reason, I feel like I've heard it before on something and I can't put my finger on it, but I feel like somebody has sampled or taken parts of that song and put it in other movies, but I can't figure it out. But overall, did I enjoy it? Yes, I did. What about you guys? Uh, it, it, well, I do have one thing that I did feel like, eh, but go ahead. What? All right, so let me tell you what I thought. It's it that that part where she was squealing and bef- before he started naming the fishies and all the different <laughs> fishes, fishes, I was I was lost at that part. I see, I, that my yeah, soul when fishies. she was like, <laughs> I, I was like, okay, they didn't lost me here. I don't know what that was about. Like it was so out of left field. Now later in the song when he was saying, you know, you're this, you're that, that when he was making the sounds, okay, I got that. But that came so out of left field. I was like, ooh, man, I don't know. Um but other than that, you know, that that and and the lyrics were a little shaky. Their lyrics weren't really much to Yeah, I'm going to get on the sing over. I'm just going to cuz Yo, me and Corey, we on opposite ends on this because I like the little shrills. I like all the little interesting. Okay, okay. The band she screams. Honestly, I mean, well, I do agree with on one thing because through the magic of Google, even though without subtitles, I was able to Google the lyrics and watch along. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Child, you know. Saying that court, we'll keep it real. But uh, yeah, the lyrics. Honestly, the lyrics. 
they fucked up because this yeah. song could have been something crazy and, yeah. and and probably was something crazy for back then i mean we got a lot of requests for us so people liked it but i'm mm-hmm. saying with the music behind the song and, and all their little intricacies and their little just you might be like yo that's a little out there i like the little out there shit i just wish I like it that, too I just wish they had some lyrics that had some meaning to it. Yeah. Behind yep. it. Because mm-hmm. everything to me, I, I enjoyed it, man. But like, it has that uh, uh, psychedelic type yeah, vibe yeah. to it. And I and I love that. You know, I, I love that. that. I can't make the shortest making shit like do, 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 the live here. Mm-hmm. It's like all that shit. Like I thought that shit was fire. And and I was like the music behind it was fire. You know what I mean? The mm-hmm. guitars, my man just hitting a little boop boop. I got the same amount of time he got. I got <laughs> for days. But uh, I'm just lying. I'm lying. Okay, Phenom 202, what say you? My back. Go ahead. Yeah. So this song, I think it might have been a decade too late. You know what I'm saying? Because mm. when I hear it, it takes me back to the 60s. Like that psychedelic, like I hear that kind of like, even, I mean, well, I would say that I ain't going to say it was a decade too late. That was their aesthetic, though. They look, they always play homage to the 60s era even in love shack they were dressed like they were from you know back then yeah Um, yeah. at least the ladies were um fun fun fact about this song uh the lyrics have a lot of double entendres a lot of meaning that we didn't catch Uh, Mm -hmm. it's about a guy whose rubber accidentally bursts while having sexual intercourse yo i did not pick that up from this at all i read the lyrics long it's that's too much Oh man, I didn't. So, know. That's, what they they came, that's what they. That's what they said. They, they they made the song and then it was like, yo, we we just got to make it last something. Oh, lots of trouble, lots of bubble. <laughs> well, me, but you know this. Maybe all the fishies that he's talking about at the end is like all the little the little spermy swimming. You the know, real fishies. The <laughs> real the, the, like, the real fish swimming. Surfboards and all that shit. Like that's that was some after fact shit to me. Maybe, but it hate on me if you want B fifty two. But it is hate on me. I'll take the bullets. Right. No, no, but it all harkens back to what we were saying before. Like I was saying, like I wish I could have heard more of the lyrics, but even though what I was hearing, it, it I didn't feel that it had much to it. And you said the same thing. Like the song itself is great. I think it the and look, you guys, we're going to get bullets for this, but the the part of the lyrics though, I think that's what's lacking. But then. But then there are parts of the song that I don't care that he doesn't have a whole lot of lyrics because it's just like chants, you know, like he's just chanting stuff to just go with the beat. So there are parts of the song I'm like, I'm totally fine with it being like that. Uh, I mean, like I said, overall, I I didn't really hate the song. I mean, it, did I feel over the moon with it? No, but it definitely is a good song. You know, um, I think it was the instruments that I love the most. I think that's what hooked me in, the, the instruments, the beats and all that. It sounds like a beat song, like like the like it used to be on like in the 60s movies with everybody dancing on the beach type shit, yo. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, I liked it, yo. I I like the I, mean, I like 60s like, movies like that though. I'm with you. I'm with you. You know, both of y'all with both of you just said where I, I agree with the lot. Sounds like a beat song and like mm-hmm. just, I mean it's the music, the music, the instruments. I just, mm-hmm. honestly I just wish they had put a little bit more thought into the lyrics. Yeah. They yeah. Made this song could have been off the chain. Because the music's so fire, you could just been talking about anything and they really took it to we were just talk about anything <laughs> like no nah, just because you can talk about anything on the shit no nah, let's go ahead if you would have went ahead and like put some thought why well, don't say they've been putting thought behind the lyrics because i don't know what happened because they'd be like yeah we thought about this shit for days like this shit was fire and then you know to them it, it, music is always su- subjective but in my head if they would have put some more thought, like and made this song about something with that music, mm-hmm. motherfuckers would have been dancing on the shit with a motherfucking some meaning behind it. Like, yeah, I think of songs um, that people dance to, they got meaning behind it, and that's what makes them iconic. And this this song is, ah, I mean, I can't call it iconic because I don't know, but I can't say that because I don't know a lot of shit. But if it's super iconic, like that, the top, top, top tier, like this had a chance to be top tier, and they ain't make it there. I think the thing with this song is, I really would like to get people to get 
people's thoughts in the comments on the reasons why you like this song. And I'm going to take a stab at it because this is why I like the song. It's one of those songs you can play at a party and rock out to. Mm -hmm. Hard. Yeah. Like, it's just one of those songs that it ain't about the lyrics. It's about the beat. It's about Wild and Out. Just rock out hard. That's why I think this song is so good because that's what I feel. I don't feel this is a song I listen to to get emotionally involved. But what I do feel, this song gets me charged. When I hear this song, I am charged up. And I think that's why people like this song. But you guys, please let me know in the comments what you think. What are the reasons? Why you really love this song? I love to love to get that. Um, anything else you guys before we wrap this up? It's a good song, girl. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good song. I liked it. I humbly yeah, same here. I, I did enjoy the song. I enjoyed it quite a lot. What did you guys say, Ali? I said I humbly disagree with you. Said the last minute. You, you have fun. You have fun with this, with lyrics that make sense. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There you go. All right. Thank you, guys. Man, we finally. Finally, finally have gotten to B-52's Rock Lobster. Thank you guys for watching this video with us. If you enjoyed this video, please I don't forget it. to like you the video so and subscribe great. to the channel. We are here for you. And if there are any other B-52 songs that you know, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, share, hit that thumbs up. And we'll be back here with you with another reaction. Peace. Yeah, That's yeah. awesome. I think you'll get with this, cause this is where it's at. You can get with this, or you can get with that. You can get with this, or you can get with that. You can get with this, or you can get with that. I think you'll get with this.